fact that that seems deranged on multiple levels. It's not like we're having a conversation about what the definition should yeah. be. It's like everybody's forwarding their, quite frankly, their deranged notions of what this should be. This, this is what you're trying to push forward. But that doesn't mean... The, I mean, I mean, the whole thing is so deranged. I don't even know where to go with it. Some of it, and then didn't want to spoil it just because it was so truly deranged. Playing the woke administrator, but keep telling your story because it gets even more deranged. So he just became provost. He was my dean. I'm sure he's a deranged maniac. To th that that he is he, that he is in service to a deranged ideology. The educational system buttresses this and actually encourages this derangement. Have you ever thought about suing these people? I would have been seduced by this increasingly popular and utterly deranged belief system. And then videos of woke people doing deranged things. That's one way. Figure out how to kind of nudge them in the right direction out of delusion and derangement and toward not even anything necessarily positive, although there's something uniquely deranged about this and uniquely damaging to civilization. In fact, of the types of thinking, now what do you think a reasonable response to that utterly deranged position would be? PC is woke. NPR is another level of derangement. Yeah. I don't even know how to describe him. He's either one of the most incredible visionary humans who's ever lived or a yeah. deranged maniac. I don't want to phrase the mission or what have you. You'd have some other deranged ideology go in there and take its place, right? That would be the, that would be what you have to guard against. At ten years, there's a universal repudiation of this derangement. Yeah. But for example, once wokeism dies, some other derangement syndrome or some other mass delusion or something else will come in. Do you think there's any truth to the substitution something hypothesis? Something like that, but deranged woke beliefs increased. And I guess my first question to you is. Uh, I, I don't know who came up with this. I might have come up with this. I don't know who came up with this, but privacy when yeah. they say deranged things in the public space because yeah. I don't want Especially people when they're to, young. to people to pile on. Well, this is meaning of the word. So when they use social justice, they're not trafficking in ordinary use of the term. It's oxy. Fred is, you know, a Nazi. Whatever they deranged claim they want to say. So probably been slightly worse, but j just as, you know, in the same category of deranged. Or you can change your own sex or any of the other derangements. So it's a true derangement. Uh, so thanks. I, I can give you anecdotes of systemic derangement, but what, what, see what new form of derangement we have today. Now, what about? Yeah, she learned it from a bunch of deranged people in gender studies departments and other uh, uh, at Portland State and other places who are totally awash in the ideology. Okay, what did you think about that? Like gender nonconforming? Time I see a, a woke person make some deranged claim and somebody provides of why the claim is deranged, they think it's a gotcha. It's a cultural myopia from whatever deranged belief comes into play. And they... I, I don't want to say immune, but they just recognize it as nonsense, like immediately. And other people completely succumb to it. Hmm. Like, why is it, is it there? Is it a personality trait? We vaccinate people against deranged ideas. I, that I have the posture of somebody who's not a deranged gender studies lunatic. Like, okay, so let's look. This is so freaking deranged. Okay. So when someone accused you of white supremacy for using a Google Doc, did you say to them something like, what do you mean? Our dysfunctional environment, discharging a mission, like the president of Portland State said that, just so deranged. It, it, it's, it, it's just so dysfunctional on so many levels. Don't, don't do these things. <laughs> and so they pass that sheet of derangement out to, to whom? racial justice or equity or whatever whatever derangement you want to say or or off mission so portland state in my opinion has gone to crazyville right the whole place is suffering from a mass institutional derangement and that's been embedded in their faculty governance their procedures their dei everything the president the selection of the president i mean i i don't everything okay. is in universities to help ameliorate the derangement syndrome or to increase free speech